Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, friends. Let's continue with the concept of promissory notes. In the last class, we saw about what is a bill of exchange. Right? Now, let's see what is promissory note and what is the difference between a bill of exchange and promissory notes and how the accounting treatment will happen in subsequently. Right? So, what is a promissory note? We all have seen the uh, currency notes, right? Currency notes contain the Reserve Bank of India governor signing. I promise to pay the bearer a sum of rupees, 100 rupees, something like that, right? So there'll be the, it, it will be signed by the Reserve Bank of India governor. So it's a promise to pay. Currency note is also a negotiable instrument and promissory notes is also a negotiable instrument. The only difference between a currency note and a promissory note is Currency note is uh, coming at a different act, though it is also a negotiable instrument. But promissory note is stamped. Promissory note is stamped. And promissory note is to make the payment to a particular person or to the order of that person on whom it is endorsed. Right? A promissory note is, is an instrument in writing an instrument in writing not being a bank note or currency note containing an unconditional undertaking to undertaking signed by the maker to pay a certain sum of money to or to the order of a certain person. A promissory note cannot be transferred. Like what we saw in a bill of exchange, it can be transferred through endorsement. A promissory note cannot be transferred. It is an unconditional uh, return undertaking signed by the maker to pay a certain sum of money to a certain person. Right? A promissory note uh, cannot be transferred. through endorsement cannot be transferred and it must be in writing it must be writing it must be stamped it must contain contain an unconditional undertaking or promise so it should not be like i'll pay you 20000 rupees after uh, the fall of winter no it should have it should be certain with the date and uh, the promisor or maker must sign the promissory note and it should be the maker should be a certain person maker should be a certain person the payee should be a certain person some payable must be certain I can like uh, promise to pay 50,000 rupees plus interest, whatever that is in place during the time. It's not a promissory note. The promissory note should be, the amount must be certain and interest also should be certain, right? And payment must be in, in legal currency and it should not be made payable the bearer so we saw in bill of exchange that it can be transferred and then the uh, to a certain person or the holder of the instrument is, uh, uh, becomes the uh, payee right and promissory note cannot be transferred to a bearer it should be only to a specified person and the good part is uh, promissory note promissory note does not require acceptance because it is an unconditional undertaking given by the uh, maker to make a certain sum of money to the drawer or to the so to the payee so it is an unconditional undertaking given by the maker of the instrument to pay certain sum of money at the due date right so it need not does not require an acceptance whereas a bill of exchange requires an acceptance Prominent difference between a bill of exchange like uh, uh, and promissory notice 
See, in case of BOE, let's bill of exchange, let's call it as BOE, and uh, promise rule, let's call it as PN. So it this is an unconditional order to pay, <coughs> and this is an and uh, promise to pay. Promise to pay a certain sum of money. Right? In the case of bill of exchange, there are three parties. We saw that drawer, drawer, and payee. In case of promise or note, it's only two parties: the maker and the payee. Right? Uh, three parties: drawer, drawee, and payee. In case of promise or note, it's only two parties. It is drawer and, or rather, maker and payee. And uh, <coughs> so, here in case of uh, bill of exchange, there should be an acceptor. In case of promise or note, there is no need for an acceptance. Right? In case of bill of exchange, the uh, bill is drawn by the creditor. Uh, yeah, this is the most important part of it. Like, uh, let's say, let me write it here. Acceptance. Uh, BOE should be accepted. Promise and note need not require acceptance. The most important part is a bill of exchange is made by the data. And data sends the bill to the creditor, to the supplier, or to the person to whom, who has to pay this, and then the creditor accepts the bill. Right? Whereas a promissory note is made by the creditor. A creditor makes a promissory note to the debtor and says that, okay, hey, I look, I have, I'll pay so and so money and so and so date with so and so interest in no unambiguous terms. So it should be certain. <coughs> so uh, uh, in case of dishonor, uh, BOE can be, must be rather, must be noted and protested. A promissory note cannot be uh, uh, noted or protested. Right? So, here in case of bill of exchange, notice of dishonor must be given. Here it is notice of dishonor is not, uh, uh, not, not required. Have a notice of dishonor. Dishonor. So this is this is pretty much simple, right? Uh, a bill of exchange. The most important part of bill of exchange. It is drawn by the debtor and accepted by the uh, pay. Uh, accepted by the sorry payer. And in case of uh, promissory note, it is made by the creditor. And that does that is the reason it does not require any acceptance. Right? The creditor is promising to pay uh, to the data a certain sum of money. So it does not require an acceptance because the uh, note itself is prepared by the creditor. So uh, now we have to move into the I hope this is clear, right? So just in case of any doubts, or because now we are trying to cover the concepts, we will go into the general entries in the next class. And uh, you can send an email to me at babupriyatradifmail.com for any queries or clarifications. However, just go through the basics of uh, bill of exchange and promissory note and come back to me for any doubts or clarifications before we go into the journal entries. Okay. Thank you, friends, and have a great and nice day.